Okay, we are on. This is, this is one quick video to fix driver. This is a quick video to launch driver without hitting up on it. And also to move path from out to in to in to out. I always struggle with that, from out to in to in to out. Du, 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 du. Okay, driver. Yeah, we've got to hit up on driver. Of course we do. We must hit up on driver. Well, let's be honest, if I take this cane and I lie it there, that's my golf ball. And I lie the cane there, one club head, width behind the golf ball, like so. I address the golf ball and I stay centered to that cane on the way back. As I come down, if I'm still centered to that cane, yes, my lower half of my body is going that direction, but if I'm centered to my cane there, then that will be my low point and I'll naturally hit up without having to hit up. I will naturally hit up without having to hit up. So staying centered to something behind the golf ball. So choose a blade of grass when you address the ball, pick a little blade of grass or a little bit of earth or something, and that's what you stay centered to. Simple. Path. Path not so simple. Take an address position of some description. Lie your cane down. Out to the right of your intended target. So if I walked along this cane, my target's up there. I'm going to continue way out to the right. See ya. Okay, that's the path. And I'm going to try and just trace that path. So I take an address position. Centered. Centered to a blade of grass behind the golf ball. I come back towards this cane. I get to hear my club's now parallel with that cane. Just visualize that club being parallel to that cane on the way back and on the way down. We don't have to go away out here and be perfectly square. Get it rounded, get it behind you because you're going to come back from there. More chance of that path being more in to out from out to in. <laughs> so centered to a spot behind the golf ball. Great. Club comes back, I'm just going to here, that's great, and then I come back down, I'm still centred, as I'm centred, my club shaft and my red, my white cane marry up, and then from there being centred, I just let it go, I'm behind the golf ball, so therefore my path's going to be more in to out, and my angle of attack is going to be more of a positive one, hitting up, without hitting up, hitting up, without hitting up, there, to there, there, to there, there, to there, nice and centered, there, to there. And I've smashed a high draw driver there, which was absolutely effortless because I adhered to my spot where I was to be centered to. I was aware of this cane here, which has structured the swing. There, there, there. I'm behind the golf ball in line with that bit there. So it's there, there. Yes, bottom half's moving, but top half is staying in line. And as you saw there, I was able to pop that ball up into the air. Positive angle of attack with a draw from an in to out path with two simple thoughts. That's golf. We just make it more complicated than it actually is. That's all Eureka Golf Swing. EurekaGolfSwing.com. Try that.